Hey guys, Paul here at ProLine, and today we're gonna be upgrading the SCX tire wheel combo. We're gonna be making one of, honestly, one of the uh, best little upgrades you can do, um, featuring the ProLine dual stage foam, and then one of the coolest upgrades you can do is with our new method wheel. So we're gonna, we're gonna do those upgrades. Um, we do need a couple of the components from this, so we're going to go ahead and disassemble this right now. Uh, first thing you need is, really the only thing you need, is a 2.5 millimeter driver. And so we're going to get these six screws off here. It's a lot faster with one of these uh, wrenches, uh, one of these uh, drivers, but of course you can do it with a hand tool, no problem, doesn't take that long. And with the 2.5 millimeter, it's pretty easy to get to as well. They're not real finicky like some of the smaller 1.5 screws. All right, and then you just gotta take a little bit of finagle in here, get that off there. We're gonna be utilizing this component and pop this front face off here. And then uh, we're gonna also be utilizing this inner ring here. So that one can be a little bit tricky to get out. You just gotta work it there. So we're gonna be utilizing these two parts. So now at this point, we've got the uh, center piece out. We're gonna be utilizing both this uh, center ring and also the wheel back. Um, and at this point, um, you don't really need this portion because you know, our version, we're gonna be upgrading to the Hyrax tire. But if you don't have the Hyrax yet um, and you want to utilize the dual stage foam in your BFG, then all you gotta do, the next step is just to pull this foam out and then replace with the dual stage foam. Now, we're just gonna show you how to put the dual stage foam into the Hyrax tire. It would be the same for this tire. So we're gonna bring our Hyrax over. Proline in the G8, legendary G8 compound here. All right, set those screws aside. We got our insert. And then of course we need our dual stage foam, okay? Now, this is obviously just a little bit bigger than this, uh, which is perfect. It's how we need it. It's gonna be the right compression and everything in there. But the easiest way to install this is to go ahead and take these two pieces apart and start with the outside ring the second stage first. So what we're gonna do is just kind of fold this up, push it together, make a little B, and then squeeze it together. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna push it in one end, and then tuck these other pieces in, and then reach in with our fingers and kind of spread this out. Push it against the wall, push it against the wall all the way around until you're happy with that. And you, and you can work it around and stretch it out until you feel like it's it's all uh, evened out. And uh, then you've got it nice, nice and uh, even all the way around, okay? And then at this point, we're going to take the first stage and we're gonna essentially do the same thing. Um, this one's a little, requires just a little bit more hand strength. <laughs> this is uh, some pretty uh, heavy duty stuff. So we're going to just go ahead and push this in, same way. Get it like this, push it as high as you can. And then exactly the same way, we're gonna push this down Work it in there and make sure you're not pushing your outer ring out. And make sure that you've got it. So if you look in there, you can see, and we can adjust this in just a minute. So now, main objective is to push this out, push it around, push this back, and the same exact thing. And once you've got that aligned, you can then flip this open. You can look, you can see that it's not bent around, you can see that it's, uh, if there is a piece that's folded down, you just gotta reach in, can make sure it's even. You can also feel it here. You can just kind of grab it in your hands here, rotate it back and forth, pinch the sides, and you can feel, if anything's out of the ordinary, you can kind of adjust that and tweak it back in. Okay, now I'm pretty happy with that. Now, we're just gonna reassemble. So, first step, take your inner uh, wheel piece, and we're gonna just put this right in. You want to get your get it inside the tire first and kind of push it down, and then you're just gonna kind of push it down into place. And uh, this does, does take a little bit of wheel of uh, hand strength. Take it, you can see it, the hardest part is getting over this ridge. And you get use this technique and just kind of push it in with your thumbs and kind of push and rotate. And you'll feel it pop in, and then you, you can see that it aligns with the tire pretty much perfectly there. Let's go ahead and start with the rear. Get that set in there. 
push it down to where it pops in place with the foam and aligned with the tire. We want to make sure that this little lip right here is right even with the surface of the wheel so that it's not folded over. Okay, and then we're going to flip that out, flip that around. You want to, you can see your, your six holes here on the back of the method face wheel, uh, the face of the method wheel. And you're just going to kind of want to just set it as close as you can. You get in there and you can kind of see where they line up. You get one of them lined up there, fairly close, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then start working that in, kind of pull, hold, push down on the face and pull away. And you'll see, you'll see it kind of just seat into that little bead there. Okay. And then you can flip it back over and you can check your alignment. You should be able to see, I don't know if we can see it here on camera, but those holes line up right there. You can check this with a, with a tool and you can kind of feel, you can feel that in there that it's lined up and that does help a little bit. And then you can start setting your hardware in. <clears throat> I like to just, uh, the, this, this back wheel face is not threaded, so you're just gonna push those in and then it'll give you an idea of where it lines up as well. You can see right down in there that that part lines up. And then what we're gonna do when we screw the first one is the most difficult. You gotta kind of squeeze both pieces together, make sure that screw is seated. We can go ahead and seat one of those now. There you go. And, and seating the one will help it make it a lot easier. And then I always like to do the one immediately across from it, directly across from it. And that'll help. You don't want to screw one down all the way yet. You want to uh, just barely get it going because if you screw it down all the way and you're off a little bit, it's going to be really hard to move the other ones around. So get that down there. You can feel it kind of snap into the part, top of the cavity there. And then go ahead and give that a tighten. And again, I don't think we want to tighten them all the way down yet. You can definitely go a little further. And then just start setting the rest of them in. Go ahead and get those started. And with this nice big hardware, you have a lot of leeway. Um, it is, with one of these drivers, it's a little, it's, it's more difficult to strip out the big stuff, but if you have your setting too high on your driver, be careful, because these can, you can strip it, <laughs> and that's not fun. Make sure they're all cinched down. And we're all good. The next step is to install on the vehicle and then apply your little hubcap here and the, the, that hardware is included. Um, and so we can go ahead and do that as well. Um, we'll just pretend it's already on the vehicle <laughs> and uh, get that in there. There's a really cool little fitment method hubcap there. And we're gonna get these on here. Pretty self-explanatory here. Just get those on there. Get one started, that way I don't have to mess with the, well, actually, these are easier because it's a little harder to hard to reach down in there. I like to just put it right on the tip of the driver there, tilt that up, and get those installed this way. And there's the last one. And man, look at that. That is a nice looking wheel and tire and huge performance upgrade. I mean, you, it's, it's one of the most unseen uh, upgrades but one of the best because that foam man just helps so much with corner agility and side hilling um, and then with the method wheel you're gonna really stand out it's a nice bling for your ride there so yeah the added bling of the wheel but also given that this is an aluminum face wheel and that the aluminum does follow through all the way back to the hex you're gonna be able to put a lot more torque to this wheel uh, without rounding this out and uh, you're gonna have a lot more drive and torque where you know you need it so obviously <clears throat> the scale aspect of the stock SCX tire is, is, is very, very cool. But what you've got here with the Proline tire is a huge performance upgrade. With the legendary G8 compound and the type of contact that this makes with the, with the rock that you're on, it's just gonna ensure that you have traction throughout your whole trail. Uh, and the Hyrax tread pattern is just a proven performance tread um, that's gonna, it's gonna make you happy. You're gonna be on the trail, you're gonna be able to get up the rocks you wanna get up. And, um, you know, I mean, the SCX6 is already a beast. This thing is going to make it just that much better. All right, so here we've got a side-by-side -side comparison of the stock 
uh, SCX6 foam that comes in the BFG KM3s, and then we've got the Proline Dual Stage, okay? Now, um, these outer layers, honestly, are fairly similar. I'd say that this uh, stock foam is a little firmer than this outer stage, um, but then the inner stage here is very firm, and this is where you're gonna get the extended side hilling ability, capabilities and cornering agility. Um, with a little bit softer outer layer, that allows you to conform to all the rocks even better. This here is trying to accomplish both by being a little bit firmer um, and sacrificing a little bit of tooth, um, while here we've got the advantage of both worlds. We've got a super firm inner layer and then the little bit softer, um, but still, still substantial um, outer layer to conform to those rocks. So, and I will add that this, uh, this inner foam here is actually perfectly uh, contoured. You can see the ridge that we have here to fit perfectly with this, uh, this inner, inner stage of the wheel. So uh, this is the portion of the wheel that adds uh, rigidity and uh, brings both the face and the backing of the wheel together. And this fits perfectly right in the center so it aligns very nicely um, to, for even added, more added performance there. Best of both worlds right here. Highly recommend this upgrade. Uh, this is one of the easiest and best, uh, most noticeable upgrades for your SDX6 right away. A lot more confidence, um, high performance upgrade package here um, with each of your SCX wheels and tires. And uh, man, that's, that's some trail performance right there. Can't wait to get these online. All right, guys, heading from the stock setup and the, over to the Proline high performance awesomeness. And uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to ring that little bell for notifications of new videos. And to learn more about these products here and everything else that ProLine makes, head on over to ProLineRacing.com.